Hey there, this is Thermos Jar, and I got a story to tell, which has actually happened to me these couple of days, straight couple of days. Well, you saw the thumbnail. You probably know what I mean. But here comes the situation. Like, the older I get, the more I get these old acquaintances from the past. Some random that I only met once. Some actually I knew I hanged out. Start reaching out. And I'm going to tell you a story that actually happened today, this morning. I was sitting in a car, and suddenly I heard this. As I heard that, I looked at the phone, and I see this motherfucker. Like, I haven't seen him for two goddamn years. And he's like, I pick up. And I'm like, expecting something interesting. Like, maybe he wants to reconnect. Well, it all starts beautiful. He asks how I'm doing, which he doesn't really care about how I'm doing. He's just a uh, cover up, but that's not the point. Asks how I'm doing, goes into uh, figuring out what I'm doing right now, if I'm working, if anything, which is a tactic actually to see if I have income. And I start, you know, pointing out like this is too suspicious. Why would the fuck you first thing you ask me is if I'm earning money? Well, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna play along. And as I'm playing along. I, I hear this. I hear this what I was afraid of. Yo, man, I'm doing something really grand. This is going to change your life because it changed mine. I'm part of the, how to say, organization, marketing team with uh, quite influence on uh, blockchain, which allows us to earn sizable amount of capital to reinvest and get more uh, income. And I'm like sitting there, that's some fucking fancy way of talking. I'm in part of some pyramid scheme or I invested all my shit money in something that I got burnt. Or I'm part of some kind of retarded uh, MLM, aka pyramid scheme cult that is disguising itself with some kind of blockchain bullshit. As I hear that, I'm instantly like, hey, yep, it's one of those. Well, what do we do? I got some time before I go to a doctor. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna fucking listen to what he's gonna yap about. And it's like 20 fucking minutes of the same thing. How he works uh, in these Discord servers as a moderator. And he's actually producing a, uh, influence and a clout on a specific... Um, some kind of hamster something and he's promoting it so he gets more people doing it he needs uh, uh, outreach and it's uh, something big and they get money out of it it's all up to you you can make as much as elon musk eventually and i'm like sitting there in the car and i'm like holy shit what the fuck where did you flush your fucking brains but nevertheless 30 minutes later, after we had this conversation, mostly he was talking, I was listening. I told them, uh, if you need a job, I can hook you up with the construction work or something like that. But if you're trying to scam me right here, right now with this retarded shit, I just pity you, fool. And that's when I slumped, slammed the phone call down. And uh, yeah, I, I felt shit because... It's another contact I need to delete and forget about, but this is not the first time. So as I'm getting older, as the time goes by, I'm noticing that the more years go forward, the more people from the past, or even recent, depends, are reaching back to me with some retarded and weird scams from uh, pyramid schemes uh, which are involving uh, you know those uh, shampoos to to bloody pyramid schemes involving uh, uh, drinks and health potions shit oh boy I even had a fucking incident where I got tried to be recruited to a goddamn cult which uh, was some kind of cult that uh, makes you life better but the only way to get in there is by getting at contact reaching up to you and try to give you salvation by get, getting you to donate to the cult so they can actually review the, your donation how much worthy you are i'm not fucking making this shit up that happened in 2018 and uh, it's insane how many people in my life so far came to me 
and I had to delete them afterwards with such weird and outrageous propositions. And you know what? The more I see, I can tell you guys, whoever watches this, young or all older generation, guys, if the guy calls you out of nowhere and you haven't seen that number or you haven't seen that person and you haven't ever spoke to him for more than like fucking half a decade or at least two years or even less, doesn't matter. If the conversation starts from him trying to get you to do something or part with your money, I mean, just turn away and go away. Get Forget that person. Just that's it. I'm, this is the whole fucking video of talking about these kind of people because I'm, I'm just getting not frustrated but amazed at the social construct of this behavior. Well, that's about it actually for today. That's all I wanted to talk about. If you enjoyed my little rant, feel free to subscribe and um, leave your story in the comments if you have any. And goodbye until the next video.